So there's a crack right here. This is the bottom of the barrel. And I'm going to melt some plastic and show you what worked. So first, I get a tin can lid. This is from previous plastic. And I just melt with this. I wait until this is really gooey. And at the last minute, I heat the crack. Because if you heat the crack first, it's going to solidify before you're ready. And if you heat it too much, the plastic in the barrel will shrink and you'll get a big hole. So I melt this a bunch. These are nursery pots that I cut up. They're the black ones that are very thick. They last forever in the summer sun, so they have good UV characteristics. I'm going to just show you how long it takes to heat this up, so I'm not going to pause the video. It gives you a sense of how long you need to heat this stuff up. Also, I've been reading about HDPE, and it says the fumes are not toxic. I don't want to breathe them, but I'm not as worried about it now. Uh, I also tend to hold my breath and stay upstream, upwind from the fumes. This might take a couple minutes, three minutes, I don't know, five minutes. I need to put a new piece of plastic on this lid also. It helps when you heat a piece of plastic so that it kind of forms like a patch when it's still part of the pot shape. But I, I'm going to stick this right in the hole right there and make sure that's sealed well. Then I'll apply a bigger piece like a patch. And make sure none of the heat gets on your barrel while you're doing this because it will melt the barrel. It's starting to flow. So I'm going to heat the barrel now until it turns glassy. And usually I heat the barrel with the deflection, the uh, ricochet off the plastic I'm melting so that the plastic I'm melting on the lid is much more fluid than the plastic on the barrel, which I don't want to distort. Then at the very last minute, get the barrel nice and hot. See, it, the seam is opening up a little, so I'm going to apply the plastic now. sure to press this in. Pressing is better than smearing. It cools off very quickly.
Once you get a big glob of plastic on the barrel, the barrel's not going to distort as much. Might want to go on the low speed. Barrel's distorting though. Oh yeah, that's hot. Rolling, pressing works much better than pulling. I can feel the heat even through this. It's very hot. And I see the seam is in there. I didn't get that very well. So I need more plastic. this directly. Don't aim the heat gun at the barrel. Press it in. Every nook and cranny. This water will find a way. Use a big piece of metal that's a little bit cooler sometimes helps. This is a smooth nursery pot. Some of them are corrugated, and I think those would be harder to use. I'm not sure though, I haven't tried it. Go on low volume when you do the barrel so it doesn't deflect as far onto other parts of the barrel. Low, low speed of the heat gun. Also put aluminum foil up here to shield the rest of the barrel.
I want to strengthen this other side. Because these tanks seem to leak in the same spot. I've got three of them. And they all leaked in the same spot. That one didn't work too well. I'm going to do it again. I don't think I heated the barrel enough. Sorry about that. Okay, this side's for mechanical strength, so I don't think that would hold water if ouch, that's hot. If there were a, a leak on that side. But this side looks pretty strong. Can't really peel it off. cracks right here. See some ridges there. I'll try 
try to fix. Never, I don't know how hot you can get this plastic. Maybe I'll push it to its limit this time. Don't try this at home. You will burn yourself. Don't breathe the plastic. You'll get cancer. All the usual disclaimers. I didn't want to stick it off. I forgot to heat the barrel. Touch this. It is very hot. I wish I had some kind of extruder to just use this stuff like a hot glue gun. Yeah, it's really hard to apply. Well, I'm going to try that and see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> 